Hello. In this section of the uh, tutorial, we're going to cover some core functions here that are buttons on the calculator. First, we're going to cover the uh, logarithm and the uh, basically the inverse of the logarithm, 10 raised to the power of x. So these are buttons that you use uh, quite a bit because logarithms are very common in math and they're pretty straightforward, so this will be a pretty short section. Uh, if you want to take the logarithm of a number, uh, remember we're in RPN mode right now. So if you put, uh, let's say, 10 on the stack and take the logarithm of that. Now LOG on this calculator is a base 10 logarithm. So basically when you evaluate this guy, it's going to try to find a number so that when you raise it to the power of, of this answer that we got, we get, we get 10 back. So 10 raised to the 1 power gives us 10. Uh, you can put, you know, 52.2 and hit the logarithm button and it'll try to find that answer as well. So basically you push it onto the stack and you hit it and you hit the, uh, the button there, the, the uh, action button. If you try to put log on the stack first without a number there, it gives you an error because we're in RPN mode. But just like with a lot of different things, you can temporarily operate in algebra mode by hitting this guy. And then you can go ahead and take the logarithm. I'm going to put it like this right hand button logarithm and uh, you know we can put four on there and it'll put it on the stack as log of four we can evaluate that to a number and it'll give us the answer so it's however you want to go ahead and deal with it um, now the inverse of the logarithm so this is a base 10 logarithm is 10 raised to the power of x so that's right here over on the left hand side so uh, whatever number I put on the stack when I evaluate it it's going to take 10 and raise it to that power so if I go ahead and hit the white left arrow right here 10 raised to the power of 5 is 100,000. So it's pretty straightforward. It also works with decimals uh, and even, you know, we can make them negative, negative decimals. You can go ahead and take 10 raised to the power of negative 0.25 and you get a number as well. So uh, very, very straightforward. Uh, so these guys are inverses of one another and that's why they're kind of second functions on the same button. Now, uh, logarithms are, are prevalent all throughout math, science, and engineering. Uh, but it turns out that the natural logarithm is even more prevalent. It's something that you're going to use even more than these guys down here, especially when you get up into calculus and beyond. So here we have the natural log button. It's the same kind of function. It's just a base E. It's the same exact sort of idea. It's just a base E instead of a base 10. So E being the number 2.71, and there's a lot of decimals after it. So if you want to take a natural log, you just push a number on the stack. And you go and hit the natural log button, right arrow up here, and you'll get ln of 78. It's trying to keep everything exact for us. Let's go ahead and change it to a number, and we go ahead and get the value back. If the calculator ever just gives you back a function with a number inside, just go ahead and convert it to a number just like we did down here. Um, and the inverse of this guy, the inverse of the natural log, is e raised to the power of x, much like the inverse of the regular log is 10 raised to the power of x. So if you, it's very common to do, to want to do, you know, e squared or something. So just put a 2 on the stack, raise uh, e to the power of 2, and it'll just put it up there as e squared because it's trying to keep everything exact. You can convert that to a decimal by just going straight to number like that. So we have the logarithm in its inverse, we have the natural log in its inverse. Now let me show you one more thing because I sort of, I'm sort of getting your feet wet a little bit here with the complex number notation that we've talked about a little bit. If you put a negative number uh, onto the stack and try to take its logarithm or its natural log, it doesn't matter, let's try to take its natural log, then it's going to tell you, hey, do you want to turn complex mode on? Because this guy, uh, if you were to evaluate it, is going to give you a, co a complex number back, right? Because you can't take the logarithm or the natural log of a negative number without getting a complex result. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And it'll, it'll go ahead and give us something it's trying to keep it all exact, but we can go ahead and convert it to number. So you see what we get back here. We get, uh, effectively, we get a complex number back because here's the real part before the comma, 0 0.69 and some other stuff. There's also some stuff that we see after. This is the imaginary part. So it's 0 0.69 and some change plus 3.14i. That's what we're looking at here. Now there's obviously some numbers that scroll off the screen with a little arrow there. If you ever see that, um, what you need to do to go ahead and scroll there is just go ahead and press the edit uh, button here, uh, right? So the first, the first soft menu button here, and it'll kind of bring it up so that you can sort of scroll over with your cursor and you can see that it's, it's basically pi, 3.14159, that's basically pi. So when we took the logarithm of the natural log of that negative number, we got a complex number back, real number plus imaginary number back. 
and and by the way if you ever looking for this edit button so that you can go and, and look at your digits like that and you kind of you're kind of buried deep in the menus and you don't see it up here just remember your friend here the tool menu when you press the tool menu it's kind of like the home menu a little bit you've got uh, ways to clear the stack you can uh, you know do lots of other things here that we're going to talk about a little bit later on but the most important and common button is the edit button here so you just hit this guy and then you're in edit mode and you can go and take a look at everything that you have here so that pretty much wraps it up for logarithms uh, base 10 logs they're inverse natural logs and they're inverse these are some of the most important and common features that you're going to be using on the calculator because logs pop up everywhere so just want to do a quick quick lesson to show you how to use those guys on the HP 50G calculator